So, before I even had time to introduce this video, um, I just found on the water, there's a little grebe. Now, we don't see these that often here. They're an incredibly small bird. You can see it next to the kook comparison. But it's a great find. I'm getting some films and photos and you'll see them shortly. But anyway, welcome to the second wildlife walk. Um, we're just gonna walk and see what we find. Now, as you can see, my camera is in a plastic bag. This is my homemade water cover for my camera because it's a very drab day. The clouds, it's fully cloud. There's rain, it's spitting slightly. If it gets too heavy, obviously I'll have to stop, but hopefully it won't get too heavy and we'll be able to carry on. So, you can probably see the little raindrops on my camera and the little grebe is just on this lake out here. So yeah, we're gonna hang around for a bit, see what we can get. So it started to rain a little heavier now, so I've put my camera away to keep it dry. It's not waterproof, so I'm using the Canon 250D and the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens if you're interested. So neither of them are particularly waterproof. We're going to head to a lake on the other side of this golf course I'm on and see what we can find. So I can see on this second lake there's a bunch of Egyptian geese. I I think there might be a few younger ones in there, but they're not too young. And then there is a bunch of Canadian geese. Now I've taken a photo of these geese before and I can show that photo to you now so you can see when they were younger. They're now quite old. Um, you can tell that they're chicks still, but they're not obviously chicks, but I'll take a photo. You'll be able to see they're chicks. Um, yeah, let's see what photos we can get. There is so much noise all of a sudden. I just walked here and could hear blue tits and jackdaws and heard a woodpecker. It's, the noise of nature is just beautiful. Like always appreciate the noise as well as the visual. So I was just walking along and saw some great tits. It was a family of great tits, so lots of young great tits being fed by the parents. I didn't get much, I got this very small clip, um, but it's incredibly dense bushes, so there's no chance I was gonna get anything half decent, but it was fun to see. And then my camera battery ran out, so I have three in total. Um, so that's one down, <laughs> two left. Hopefully they will last. So it started raining a little more heavily. I'm just sheltering under a tree. I'm gonna clean my lens and talk to you about earlier. So earlier I was on my way here and I bumped into a friend and um, they showed me the most amazing plant which collects dew on its leaves. Now, I don't know the technical name of this plant. They did tell it to me, but it was extremely complicated. Um, but it has beautiful dew on its leaves. So I took some photos on my phone um, and I'll show you them to you now. So, up in these trees, I found a family of um, tree creepers. There's a mother and at least three chicks, so they're making lots of noises. I've got some footage and some photos, so I'll show them to you.
So we got some fabulous footage. Um, my favourite was when the two tree creepers were huddling together. Um, I filmed it. I didn't photograph it because they were quite a long way away, but here's the video. It's amazing. I haven't, I haven't seen many tree creepers in my life, if I'm honest. I've seen them maybe three other times. So to see a whole family like that and get good photos was very rewarding. So we're now going to see what else we can find. So just got some film of water. It's fast moving water through a weir and I thought I'd film it, potentially slow it down. The river's flooded, so there's loads of water making it nice and deep. There's lots of waves, so yeah, hopefully slowed down, that will look good. Yeah, the um, young tree creepers were very mottled. They have brown, like the parents. The parents are mainly plain brown. Um, but then they've got lots of dark and pale patches, making them very hard to spot. They literally just look like they're bark, because they're very flat as well. And lots of the time they weren't moving, they were just sitting, waiting for their parent to feed them. So it was their cool that let me find them so easily. But it was amazing to see them, honestly. <laughs> I'm just... Very glad I was walking down the path when they were there. And I just stopped by this large mass of flowers. Um, in particular, these beautiful yellow ones. And then I noticed all the bees and the banded damsels, which we've been focusing on quite a lot recently. So I took some photos. I got some photos of the dew on these grasses. And next to the damsels and the bees, they look really cool. So. I'm going to see what else we can get. There's insects on the yellow flowers, which will be effective. And yeah, I'm just going to take some more photos and you can see them all. I got some photos of the insects and I got some audio of a song thrush. Well, I filmed it as well, but the film isn't good quality. But I'm hoping the audio is because he was singing in a bush really clearly and loudly. So hopefully you'll be able to hear that. And it's a beautiful song, honestly. That's why they're called the song thrush. Um, I just found a very cool moth, which I took a photo of and some video so you can see this moth. And if I find anything else on the way back, I will just play them now before the video ends. Thank you so much for watching and join me for wildlife walk number three. It's going to be great fun.